Hi, welcome to the Handy Mom 868. I'm Ruth. For those of you who are new to the channel and you are interested in anything that is home decor, home organization, or home maintenance related, hey, you don't gotta go a place, you're in the right spot. For my faithful, the Handy Mom 868 tribe, oh, welcome back, welcome back. It's always good to see you guys. For those of you who don't know, or who have not yet followed me on Instagram and Facebook, then you won't know that we are celebrating for the entire month of October. And yes, someone special was gifted to this earth in the month of October. We already have some giveaways, and listen, it is going to be a treat. We're going to have fun in the month of October. For those of you who don't know, there's something extra special that happened on the 1st of October. And if you stay with me to the end, I'm going to tell you exactly what that is. Now, with all that excitement out of the way, let me just tell you, this video is going to be a short and simple video, but it's going to make a big difference in your home decor. It's just going to re-establish what I've done in the last couple of videos, which is reusing what you have to create the look that you want. So stay tuned. what I'm going to do is change the color of the curtain rod, the ex existing curtain rod I had in the room. Yes, I probably could have go purchase a new rod, but this time you just want to conserve your cash um, as much as possible. What I'm about to do is just basically change the color of my rod to more match with the theme of the room, which is a more clean modern feel. This rod is actually in a kind of brown, bronzish kind of color and it doesn't fit with my theme. I'm actually going to spray paint it in a nice black and that is actually going to pick up the black colors in the room, contrasts against the white and it's also going to have a nice modern but transitional finish which is basically what the theme of the room is about. I have it all set up here. My only challenge is that in taking out the screws for the rod, the head was spun out. So I had to literally take the screws out by prying them out with my hammer. Due to the fact that they were cammed, I can no longer use those screws for this rod. So what I'm going to have to do is find some new screws and paint their heads black as well so that when I mount the curtain rod, they will all match seamlessly. So because the main part of the, the main body of the rod is metal, I'm going with this enamel paint, which is going to take care of any rusting that occurred over time while this rod was up. Uh, the finish is a nice smooth black finish. I mean, I look forward to seeing the results of this. I'm going to be using the Krylon can gun handle. This gives you more control and really a better finish for your spray paint applications. Just make sure the nozzle lines up and you're good to go. So this is the nice new finish. Isn't it pretty?
so this is the condition of the screw head that I took out well actually this is one of the good ones uh, the others were completely spun out in the center I can't use my screw driver I can't use my screw drill to put that back in so I pretty much have to select new screws and you know paint it out in the same color as what I'm using before I buy any screws I normally check my handy dandy um, screw <laughs> collection and see if I have anything to match up if I don't then I'll probably look at buying some screws from the same length but before I do that let me check with what I have here and see what I can use I don't have a screw that is exactly the same as the one that I took out. So what I decided to do was use this stainless steel screw that I have. I have a lot of these. Um, it's, um, it's the same length. Um, the treading is different. But I like the length because it will go in further into the wall and provide it with a little more security than a shoulder screw. Okay, so let's get them sprayed. So I'll probably give it a second coat, let this coat fully dry and that's it. Now, I'm going to show you the difference that this run makes. I'm going to leave a picture showing you what this room looked like before and now this is what it looks like. Now, a simple adjustment in the height of your curtain rods make a big difference in your room. Now, this is a pro tip. When you take your rod as far up to your ceiling as possible, what you do is you actually elongate the height of your room, giving you more headspace or what seems to be more headspace which is what we want. It tricks the eye into thinking that you have more vertical space than you actually do. Talk about a transformation. If you want more about home maintenance, home decor, or home organization, check out the playlist that I have. Now, if this inspires you to do something like this, hey, make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section. This is a running theme for the last couple of videos that I've done. Is basically reusing what you have to create the space that you want if you have not seen any of those check out the playlist if you found this video informative or it inspires you to use what you have to create a space that you want I'll ask you to give me a thumbs up and while you're there don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell that's how you'd know when I upload new videos I can also be found on Facebook and Instagram where I share little nuggets of information in between videos. But not only that, as of the month of October, I have launched my brand new website, thehandymom868.com where you can find information and resources that may not be readily accessible here on YouTube. Also, check out my first blog. For those of you who love doing DIY work and have that carpal tunnel pain, oh, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Until next time, see ya.